just finished second yesterday too, okay. eh? Oh yeah, that was finished second yesterday? Yeah, in the last race. They, they weighed me once. Gang I fuck try. <laughs> just get beaten. Oh, got, got beat by a nose. Hockey. Got beat by a nose at 80,000, bro. Wow. What's your name, man? First name Marvin, last name Richards. Yeah, you the trainer here? I'm a yeah. trainer. How you got started in the horse business, man? How did I get started? I guess it just fell onto me. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think, uh... How did I get started, Chris? You know? I owned a horse. I, 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 didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like the, the feeling that left with me, you know? Like, uh... I owned a horse, but it was costing me more money than everything else in my life, so I figured... Start training, start training the horse myself. Yeah. What's your favorite moment in the business, man, so far? Winning my first race. Yeah. Winning my first race for, uh, what was that purse? $7,000. But it, w it, wasn't a, it wasn't so much a purse, it was just, uh, just the higher winning the race, you know? Seeing your horse crossing the line first, I, I, can't, I, can't, really ex I can't express how that feeling is, bro. But to watching your horse cross, cross that line first, it, it feel like it's, it's some feeling of uh, accomplishment, like, all this work I put into this into this one horse actually paid off. And it's pretty cool, right, to see the black experience in horse racing and well, know that we exist. Well, the black experience is just like any other experience in the United States of America. You always got to be fighting for everything, you know? Yeah. But we're here. Absolutely. This is the best horse I want. His name is Gong Hei Fak Choi. Just got beat by a nose yeah. for 80 grand. Mm -hmm. Last race yesterday. The name of this program is the real players inside the back stretch, right? The real players. How important is the guys and the women that work back here, man? They're, in your opinion? Yeah, they're the most important because they're the ones that get started early in the morning. Before I before I show up, my groom is here. He gets them prep. I come in, I give the I give the instructions, hey, do this with this horse, do that with that horse. But as far as getting the horse prepared, your groom, your hot walker, they do the real work. You understand? Yeah. Exercise rider. You know, it's, it's easy for me to stand up and say, okay, take this horse a mile and do this and turn around and do that. But he's the one up there taking the risk, you know? I'm gonna say my guy, Chris, man. Chris Fun. Shout out, man. Hey, you know? Gang Hei Fak Choi, say it. You know, we came from Saratoga, <laughs> now we in Belmont. <laughs> Belmont Park, living the dream, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know the thing go. Inside players. Inside on the box stretch. Inside players. Yeah. Gang A Factory, number one horse in the United States. As far as, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, sir. That's Gang Hei Factory, say it one time, Dred. That's your uh, best horse ever and he's doing good. Gang Hei Factory. From nothing to, you know. He speaks. Say hello. <laughs> hey, hey, where you from, man? Yeah, I'm from, yeah. from Jamaica originally. You're from Jamaica and you was in the horse business in Jamaica too? As well? No, no, no. I, I grew up here. Oh, I, you grew I got, up here? I got here at the age of 10. So, so my experience basically is all here. Yeah, so who, who was your mentor in this business, man? As a mentor that kind of showed you the ropes and kind of... As a mentor, well, uh, who are my mentors? Um, there's quite a few people. All, all black trainers, though. Peter Chin, Parker, um, who else? Osang. You know, because usually when you get on the, you get on the racetrack as a, as a young black trainer, or as a young black person, the people that are going to gravitate to you is the, is the the older black trainers, you know. So I, I I'll say my influence all came from uh, the older black trainers. One of my best horses that I ever had was with um, was with Parker. And like, what's some of the early information you got that you still hold today, man? That these guys told you. You basically gonna get out of this game when you put into it. If you don't put your time in, and you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient, or, or else the horse gonna let you wait. You try to rush a horse, he's gonna make you wait. So, so you gotta be patient. So, it's all hard, so hard work and you can't skip the line, huh? There you go. No, you have to stay on the line and wait your turn. You gotta wait your turn. Now when that day come, you know, nothing gonna stop that. Cause who Jesus bless, no man curse, you know? Right. Case in okay. point, this horse, I waited, I waited on him for two years before he actually won. When I bought him, he was, he was sick. So I had to put him down for a year. And then I got him back to the races, and it took me five races before he actually won. But now, he's a star of the barn right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a star in the entire barn right now. This entire 61 right here. Yes, Wouldn't sir. you say? He's the best yeah. horse in here, right? Yes, sir. I think so, too. Yeah. 
All right, buddy. Thank you, man. I right, appreciate you, bro.